Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Go City and I'm about to hit level 10. I've been working really really hard to get the XP that I need and it's soon to be done. Now I wanted level 10 because it actually gave me the ability to get the final decoration from the Halloween 2019 Halloween deco and that was the Haunted Graveyard. So let's do it. Let's go get that XP and get the beautiful pop-up message that says, Congratulations! You've hit level 10. And there we go. There's the congratulations chest to be opened, which gives me the following goodies. Ooh, a merry-go-round. Oh, yeah. Goes around and around and around and it's gone. There is a house in the woods. We all like houses in the woods. And there is a choco chip colonial house that looks so tasty. There's gold coins. Oh, my God. God, that's wonderful. And some mega bucks. Yay. Yeah. I'm a happy person. Now, according to this, I can get a wind turbine, a large stone factory, and the haunted graveyard. So today, let's go purchase that. I can buy five of those. Now, that's a lot of graves, but I could get one, I suppose, for the moment, and then go and do that one later. Now, according to that, it says there are two and one down there at the bottom, so I need to check out that as well. Now, where to place my graveyard? Now, my design is coming along. I will be tweaking it more later and later and later and later. You saw me do some of it in the last video. I've also purchased more decoration. Now, it's still available, by the way. Uh, you can still purchase these items in-game. They have not gone yet. So if you are looking to buy any more Halloween decoration, please do get them. Uh, probably sooner rather than later, though, especially if you're looking to actually make a beautiful design. But there it is. Five citizens. Uh, now, those citizens, are they dead citizens or are they alive? If they're going to be zombies or people walking around that look kind of like, oh, then I'm a little bit concerned. But if they are regular people, actually, no, not regular people, but if they're just bodies that don't move, I'm happy. Now, one issue I've got here is the graveyard is fantastic, but as I try to place it down, it won't let me place it in the position that I would like to have it. Now, I really want the entrance to be in a different part, and it's just not letting me. So, as I try to kind of like move it around, it's just not going where I want it to be. So, maybe it's designed to be up against the side of a road, which I will have to tweak and adjust later. Maybe I completely revamp my design and move the farm that I've got there and the, the actual hangman's tree and maybe tweak that later. Hmm. I need to think about that a little bit more, yeah, especially considering that the design is very, very important and I do like Halloween. So we've got to get that one perfect. We really do have to. Right, but as you can see here, I'm moving it around, and like, there's the pathway, and I don't want the pathway there, so why can't I turn it? Oh, well, let's just place it down anyway. It's only 600 gold coins. No, I won't. I'll change it. Let's try it over there. Should we do it there? That looks good, but the gate's on the wrong side. No, I want the church facing a different direction. That looks better. No, it doesn't. Okay. <sighs> the agony, the pain. Which is the best? Swing, 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 swing. Hmm choices. I'm trying to see if the trees I've placed down there will allow me to turn the design, and it won't do it. It's a shame. It really is a shame, but I'm going to have to place it in a moment. Okay, do you have the same frustration? Do you have the same difficulty putting things down where you want? Now, that does look good. I, I like that position there. That's a possibility. Or there's the possibility here, but which to go with? Mm, now, I'm tempted to keep it by the farmhouse, uh, a little bit more down maybe, but then again, I could always readjust the design afterwards. So let's put it there. Okay. Now, as I turn it around and we look at that one a little bit more, you can see there's a side entrance there, and then there's the main gate. Now, it's the main gate I want to be towards the front, uh, and I've got all of my Halloween buildings behind, so I'm going to have to change the location. Now, maybe if I put that to the side like I've done there, it looks a little bit better. Hmm, it does actually, doesn't it? So that looks certainly much, much cooler in its layout and appearance. But I love the design, I really do. Well, let's bring the hangman's noose over. If we're going to hang people, I suppose we better have like the grave by the side of it as well, uh, just to keep a more balanced feel to it. Anyway, there we go. That looks nice. That does look nice. I, I like that indeed. 
but hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. I need some more houses there. I do. I should buy some more houses, but maybe some more trees and bushes would be wonderful. I've got another hangman's tree. Should I add two of those in? Hmm, right, let's see. Do I have any more haunted buildings I can use? A larger haunted building would be wonderful. I've got it, but uh, not really got the resources. What's well, something that looks close? There's so many beautiful imagery down there, isn't there? I need some like uh, scary style buildings that would match with the design. Nothing, nothing that I want as such. Hmm. Maybe I need to open some chests. If I open some chests, that might give me some goodies. Or let's have a look at the shop. Okay, well, there's more Halloween decoration. I could buy more of those. I could get more goosebumps or more house on the hill. I think I should buy more of those. So we get another one of those house on the hill. There we go. One, two, two have been done. They've been added to the decoration. Let's go down there. We grab those ones as well. Then I can add those in. And that looks better. It does indeed. Mm, yep, I like it. No, move it over. Mm, that's better as well. Yep, perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, we need some trees, don't we? We need to get some trees and decoration in there. Mm, or maybe another building would be good. So, maybe I should create a kind of like a central location where the cemetery is near the center, buildings are running outside. Or maybe I should put more trees there. Hmm. There we go, down by the path piece, let it go, slide it over a bit more, slide it over, yeah, slide it, come on, slide it over, you can do it, slide it over, okay, perfect. Right, I'm happy, it's starting to look like a residential area now, and that is very important indeed. I wonder if the people that will be there will be living or not. Yeah. It's an interesting question to think about. So, are they alive or not alive? And if so, uh, what do they look like? Hmm. Right. We need characters that walk around this area. We do. Or people. Hmm. That would be nice. If I could have some people that are static, I could create the situation that people look like they are walking. And then I could leave them in that area. So I need path pieces, absolutely. I need path pieces that are as decoration, that when you join them together, they do create a nice path piece. And then I need static people as well. Right, now that is good. Okay, back over to my fuel area. Now down here I've kept everything together for the moment. I've got down there three options that are generating electricity. I've got two options that are generating stone. Uh, and I've got uh, two of those buildings there that generate actual wood as well. So according to this I should be able to buy something and there's nothing there that I can purchase. So that's kind of confusing. So maybe it's just a mischaracterization of the number. Okay. But everything there I've got and it's out of stock. Mm -hmm. I need new stocks. I really do. Right, come down to the buildings. And there we are. We're coming up to the new one. Look at that. A new wind turbine. I should get that one. There we go. I've got two already. Now, uh, this will be my third one. So I could place that into storage. And there's the large stone factory as well. Place that into storage. And now I need some more of those. Uh, wish I could get more wind turbines. Not that I need them just to generate electricity, which is good. But I kind of like to have them around one of my town station locations and create a beautiful, environmentally friendly wind turbine location. Oh, excuse me. I need to eat something. Right, now I've got the three buildings there, and the fourth one there, which is the turbine. So where to place it, I wonder. I'm going to have to readjust everything here. It's getting a little bit cramped. I need a building area. I do. Okay, I'm going to have to come down in this stage in another video and expand this part of my actual station location that I'm visiting him. So maybe today what I could do is go and get some sushi, have a nice sushi dinner, and then afterwards walk down in that location, making some videos, taking photos. But I need to do it before it gets too dark. There's a beautiful park down there, and the autumn trees are fantastic. So that would be a good option. I should definitely do that one. Hmm. 
and then I can explore that area a little bit more. So, yes, 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 indeed. Hmm. Okay, well, I've got three brand new buildings there. Got to place them in a way that I can actually tap on the other buildings as well. I've noticed that when I've tapped on electricity ones, uh, I've got to turn it sideways because they're kind of like too close to each other. So you must have a little bit more space, which I definitely do need to do. So, yes, definitely do need to do that one. Mm-hmm. Kiosk. Kiosk is the next building, level 11. Okay, not going to worry about that one. That is way too far in the future. Right, now we've got some buildings down there. There's the Haunted Graveyard, which I'm happy about. Okay, I've leveled up, so this is level 10. There's more trees to be purchased later once the stock comes back, which I will do so. Right, I've finished, everybody. Now, my next video is going to be a nighttime walk. I'm going to be heading from this location here, taking the train down to another station. When I get to that station, having a nice meal and then walking backwards so it's going to be a nighttime walk so i hope you enjoy that video uh, it was fun to make and it will be part of my colby city collection okay well that's me red signing off don't forget to subscribe like share comment and i will see you next time bye now